curly hair plus layers plus about three months of not cutting it and this is the result of that ladies and gentlemen yes that is me fighting with my hair to even comb it that's why i'm making you guys this video now before i start with anything else we're just going to freeze here and take a moment to look at that nest on the back of my head. This unfortunately is a result of when you get a really bad haircut when you're like 10 and then after that you don't trust anybody else touching your hair and you'd rather just do it yourself. Yeah. So to get started I'm going to straighten my hair. Although I managed to tame this bad boy you can still see where my hair is pretty choppy and where the layers have completely grown out. So. So I know this looks kind of ridiculous, but this is how I start off. I comb my hair upside down, make sure it's nice and flat, and notice how my lines are completely off. It's so grown out. Now the reason why I chose to do it like this, because when you flip your hair forward, you're actually keeping the length by doing that. So whatever you cut in front, as you guys can see here, if it looks really short to you because the distance between your eyes and the length of the hair looks really short, it's still going to be decently long in the back. It's going to be trimmed up, nice, cleaned up the edges, and no straggly, tangly, messy hairs. Basically what I'm just doing here is I'm cutting off the strangly hairs, the ones that stick out and they're way longer than the rest. And I'm seeing that it's very, whatever is uneven. I'm trying to make it as even as possible upside down here. See where it gets shorter in the middle? That is my bang area. Onyx wants to say hi. <laughs> Anyways, so again, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. You can see I'm using my comb here and I'm just getting the uneven area. Now see how, again I mentioned before, the short hair in the middle, it goes like, it's like on an angle, that's my bang area. Usually I use a mirror that I lay flat completely underneath me, but since I've been doing this for so long, I just, I go by how I see my hair from the angle upside down while looking at it, which is, it takes a lot of practice to do next part was a little bit more in detail I had to go in front of my mirror sorry you're seeing me twice it's the only way I can set up the camera this way you can get my full entire head and not just like a weird so now I'm just going in and I'm pulling all my hair forward again like you saw before and I'm going to tie it in a hair tie I know what you're thinking, I already cleaned up the edges, right? Well, now that I have my hair like this in a ponytail style, I am pulling my hair tight and I am looking to see what else is staggering. Because remember, my hair is and was layered, so it all grows at different times. It does not grow all at the same time. Anybody tells you that, they're totally wrong. So I'm cleaning up the edges again, trying to make it as straight across as possible. Now for the fun part. You, now I'm combing my hair, as you can see, almost sideways and seeing how it brushes out. Like a nice even line is what I'm looking for. So now I'm measuring it out, looking at those there that are pretty staggly and gross. I'm going to trim them. See how they hang a little bit longer than the rest? So I'm going in like this and I'm just doing a... Um, Slithering technique going downwards to kind of get rid of those extra hairs. I really come to this conclusion, I've been cutting my hair like this for a while now that if I comb my hair sideways, I'm looking at it from a side profile, and if it's not going on an angle upwards in my ponytail, then I'm going to make it on an angle. This way I can trim all the dead layers in between because when you flip your hair upside down or back to the way it's supposed to lay, the front is gonna be the shortest, the front of my ponytail is the shortest, and then the back is the longest. So this is what I've pretty much come up with. Um, I'm not saying it's correct, 
way to cut your hair, your own hair. You know, there's so many YouTube videos out there, but this is how I cut my hair. And this is what works for me. This way I can get a symmetrical look. Now, whatever I do facing one way or one of my profiles to the mirror, I have to do the other way to make sure they're symmetrical for the most part. Now, as you guys can see, I'm in a completely different angle in this video because I am cutting it on the side. You see how it goes straight down and then it kind of like bump? Yeah. So we're going to straighten that baby out. Now I'm just going ahead and I'm double checking my top layer to make sure it's even with the rest of the layer along the top of my head here. So I'm just going ahead and doing that. Now I'm starting my face frame. First I'm showing where my first layer is gonna be, right there, the shortest layer. Then I'm combing almost like in a curvature, like a C almost, and I'm pulling it outwards in front of my face on an angle and I'm cutting on an angle. And you'll see in a second. And then I do that all the way down and make sure you have all the ear, all the hair from your ear forward because that's usually generally how far the face frame goes. Everything from behind the ear is your regular hair, but from in front of the ear forward is face frame needs to be trimmed and cut. Now to help you guys see a little bit better, I took the rest of my hair, put it behind, and I'm just double checking my face frame here. And now to give my hair a little bit more texture and um, almost layers, I'm point cutting. I'm bringing it all the way up and I'm point cutting the ends. This way they're not straight across and you can't see the lines when my hair is straight. Now I'm just doing that, adding more hair and more hair and point cutting. And you can also do this around the rest of your hair if you'd like. I suggest you if you're going to do that to flip your hair upside down to ponytail and point cut. This way you're not just taking a bunch, bunch of pieces of hair out of your head. <laughs> so this is the end result of my hair. I don't usually wear it down the center because I have a big forehead. Um, anyways, I like to wear it flipped one side or the other. And as you can see, all the layers are coming in nicely. They're all falling nicely. They're not choppy and gross and whatever else. I usually don't ever wear my hair this flat. I usually blow dry. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and give me a thumbs up if you, up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. I, I appreciate the honesty. Any questions, comments, or requests, just comment below. And don't forget to subscribe.